psychic medium, my accuracy rate has been analyzed at around 98%, but I'd say it's probably 90%. When things are wrong, it could be an interpretation. So it's really important for you to listen yourself. Listen to the original reading. That's always going to be the most accurate when I didn't really know who these people were. And in a few days, I'm going to do a live stream. So listen to the reading, get your questions ready, and I am going to get the live stream ready. Now, having said that, I'm going to share a short clip with you from a different reading I did, and I've thought long and hard about whether I should put it up on the internet. The reason for that is one, personal safety, the obvious, they have not caught the killer. And that's something I want to clarify too from the first reading. I know during the reading, I'm like, I can identify this guy. Da, 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 da. It also sounds like I'm talking about three separate people in there, and I don't know if they were all involved or what. It takes some dissecting of the reading to do. So that's what we can do on the live stream is talk about that. And also, if you were a friend or a loved one of any of the victims, I will do as many readings for free as it takes to help get this very sick individual off the street. All you have to do is email me at Reverend Donna Serafina, and that's with a PH. And you can find that email all over my YouTube channel. Email me, let me know you're a friend, you want to read in, and I'll have to be able to verify it on social media. Like, you know, go on Zana's friends list and say, okay, yeah, you're on her friends list. I'll do as many readings as it needs. And I can also do readings where I just connect you with your loved one or friend and where I don't go into the murder. But that helps me build a strong connection with that spirit person so we can get some real details through here. Now, what I'm going to share with you is a short clip from another reading I did. And like I said, you know, I've gone back and forth in my head. Should I upload this? Should I not? Should I get involved? Hopefully the police, you know, every day I look and just pray and hope that the uh, law enforcement has arrested this person. Okay, now with that said, I'm going to play this clip. And with this caveat, okay, this caveat is that this is graphic. This is crime. Now, my channel, I want to do all kinds of mediumship, so I'm going to warn you, but I also want to start branching out just into the regular speculation part of crime because I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. I've worked in a juvenile institution, in the state institution. I've worked at juvenile parole as a social worker. I've worked in um, domestic violence treatment and as a victim's advocate. So I have a strong interest in criminal justice aside from my readings, but then I also have a strong interest in my readings aside from criminal justice. So I think I'll just have to label my videos. This one, though, is very graphic. So if you are the type that gets upset easily, now's the time to turn on and then just tune into the live in a few days if that's what suits you. Okay, I'm going to play it now. Listen to this. This is how sick this person is. Talk about profiling. Talk about profiling your killer. Let, let me play this clip, this short clip for you, and you will know just how sick this one individual is and how, and, and you know what? If you're a mother out there and you think that your worst nightmare would be if this was your son, but you have an inkling feeling that you wonder, I can tell you that your life is in danger right now. Your life is in danger. If you think you're protecting him, your life is in danger. This could very well end up with him murdering his own mother and or other people. So, 
it is important if you even think there's a chance, if you are biologically related to your son, to go into the law enforcement department and offer up your DNA so they can do a familial DNA because your life is in danger as well. It's not going to go away. In fact, he will kill more if he's not arrested. That's how important this is. And there's a mother out there who has an inkling. She knows. She has a creeping feeling in the pit of her stomach. And I'll tell you right now, don't confront him. Don't let him know you think that. Because you might end up in the morgue. And I cannot be more serious. Okay, so with that, Here's the clip. So I've seen the guy that's like Paul Murdoch's son. And he, uh, he likes the blood. And so he, he brought it like, I don't know if it's a little jar or a little container. And he likes to sit in his room and put it on himself. On his privates and stuff. This kid is twisted. Twisted. His mom knows something's wrong with him, like, she doesn't know exactly the extent or what, but she knows something's wrong with him. Okay, so I've seen a lot of questions floating around different groups and on different YouTube creators as to questions about this crime. How could this be? How could the roommate survive? The dog, da 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 da. I have a lot of the answers. In fact, a lot of the answers are in my reading and or little segments of readings that I did this past month. So I hope you join me in a few days. I'll put the date up soon. Within two or three days, I'm going to put the date up for the live stream. And I really hope you join me. So we can hopefully come up, clarify some things, and then maybe we'll even come up with some information that could help law enforcement in some way to take this burgeoning serial killer off the streets, okay? Because it, even if these were his first victims, if he's not arrested, they will not be his last victims. That's a guarantee. All right. I love you guys. I hope that 2023 is better than 2022 although <laughs> I hope you're stockpiled and prepared and ready for anything okay I'll talk to you in a few days take care again my name is Reverend Donna Serafina I am offering free readings to any family members like I said if you go down on my video page I've done readings for a lot of family members where there was a missing person or murders without going into the murder. I don't need to traumatize people worse. And I, I know I've had several, two, if not three family members murdered. I mean, I would say I've had three family members murdered, you know, just because the coroner doesn't always put it that way. But I know what it's like. I know what the trauma is like. So I'm not here to traumatize anybody. But if you want a reading, I can do I can do a nice, loving, fun reading. Although I have a feeling if it was Kaylee, she'd probably burst through and say what she wanted anyways. So <laughs> contact me if you want a reading. Again, it's Reverend Donna Serafina, and that's the Serafinas with a PH at gmail.com. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye.